Welcome back to Brent Tang and Brent Barnett. This is another segment in our ongoing Nothing But Options series and we're covering two up, two down. Look, I could show you guys a hundred different ways of setting up a kit the way I would do it, but that's me, that's not you. I don't know how you set your kit up or how you wanna set it up. But what I wanna do is show you the tip of the iceberg of all the possibilities that we have available to you using Gibraltar that you can use to create and customize your own kit. In option G, I chose to use two of the stealth side racks, the GSS MS, one on each side. And the reason for this is because there's a lot of you guys that love playing racks. You love the stealth side rack in particular because it's very low profile, it's very compact, and it can be carried very easily. This serves all the same functions of a rack, of a bigger rack, but it's just stealth. It serves you very nicely. I was able to keep everything up top the same, but the bottom is different. So I decided to change up the scenery on the hi-hat side of the drum set. This is the first time in this video that you have seen a rack on the hi-hat side. It has a lot of benefits. So let's start with my core. My rack tom is mounted directly out of the front leg of the rack. I'm using a single tom mount, and my main crash is mounted with a short boom out of the back clamp of the single tom mount. Then I've got my side crash and my splash mounted to the horizontal bar using a long boom to get the height that I needed. Now you guys have seen the floor tom side before. This is the floor tom side of option D. I've got my 12 inch rack and my main crash being mounted out of the front T-leg. My ride cymbal and side crash are both mounted to the crossbar and then my china is mounted out of the back leg. So a cool little route that you can go down when you have a rack or when you're, when you're playing with racks is the no leg route. This actually cleans up your floor space even more than it already is. What I did with this little setup is I've got the same setup, but I swapped my snare stand out for a no leg snare stand and my hi-hat stand out for a no leg hi-hat stand. I connected my snare stand to the front leg of the rack and then I connected my hi-hat stand to the crossbar of the rack. Now for the no leg snare stand, I used two different components. I used the mini T leg, which is the GSMTL. This comes on the actual stealth rack. And I use the bent bar that comes on the stealth rack, the SC GPRS bar. I connected that to the front leg, and it's really cool with the bent bar because the bent bar will go over a double pedal arm. The no leg hi-hat stand was attached to the rack using the SC EA100. It's a 10 to 12 inch extension arm that has a rotating clamp on the very end, so it grabs right onto the hi-hat and it'll attach directly to the rack using a multi-clamp. So now we're moving on to option G1. Wait, that was backwards for you guys. You guys need to be like this. Better? What this is, this is the stealth side rack option, only in the offset configuration. So what I'm doing is I'm using the GSS MS on both sides, and all the hi-hat side is is just a modification of option G. The floor tom side is option D1 that we know and love. Now by doing this, the reason I did this is because I know there's a lot of you guys out there that like to play side racks, and you particularly like the stealth side rack. I wanted to show you how it can be done in an offset configuration, and I wanted to show you how all the symbols still ended up in the exact same way. So on my hi-hat side, I got the GSS MS here. I got my auxiliary crash, my splash symbol using the longer boom arms mounted directly to the GSS MS. Then I got my main crash out of the back of the tom mount. Our core is all mounted to this left rack now. So I had to change the tom mount. Instead of using a single, I'm now using a double. I'm using the SC DP, and it's a dual platform tom mount stand that has available sockets for two ball L arms and a clamp in the back. So my floor tom side, is just good old option D1. I got my main crash coming out of the front leg, my ride cymbal and my second crash are both mounted to the crossbar, and then I got my china coming out of the back leg. Those of you that are into a little more floor space and a little more stability, you can go with the no leg option. We got a no leg snare stand and a no leg hi-hat stand attached to this rack right now. I've got the GS MTL, which is the mini T-leg base, and I got the GUASB, 
which is the ultra adjust snare basket that you can fit right into the GSMTL. I've connected it to the side stealth rack and the front leg by using the, bent, the stealth bent bar, the GPRS S bar. Now for the hi-hat stand, I use the SCEA100, which is an extension arm with a clamp, or an adjustable clamp on the end, and I just attached it directly to the side rack using a uh, multi-clamp. Option H takes us into curved territory. And by curved, I mean curved side racks. I used 46 inch curved horizontals and 20 inch straight verticals. The reason that I did it this way is because curved side racks offer you a couple of different benefits, which are very cool. One, it's design. It's, it's got a very sleek look as opposed to just a straight bar. This kind of gives you like a curved round look that goes around your kit. Another benefit is the fact that it takes up less square footage on the floor. With straight side racks, in order to position your floor toms and your cymbals comfortably, you have to push the back legs out, which creates more of a wider shaped V. With curved, you can pull the back legs in, but since there's that curve there, you've got your floor toms still positioned in the place that's most comfortable for you. Now what's really cool about this is I was able to do everything the same way on top, but yet the base of everything the look has changed. So let's run down the hi-hat side. I've got my 10 inch rack tom and left main crash both mounted out of the front leg. My side crash and splash are mounted to the horizontal curved bar. Now I have plenty of space on this curved bar to add more cymbals and more accessories if I want to. Plus this back leg can also hold another, another cymbal or another accessory. Plus, look at the amount of space that I have right here. There's plenty of space, but my foot is still closer to me than if it were a straight rack. On the floor tom side, all I did was just duplicate what I had on the hi-hat side, with the exception of cymbals, of course. I didn't duplicate those. The method, it was more the method. I got the 12-inch rack tom and the right main crash all mounted out of the front leg. The ride cymbal and side crash are both mounted to the crossbar. The china is now mounted out of the back leg. Now the same as you saw in option G, the no leg snare stand and the no leg hi-hat stand are great additions to this rack as well. It helps clean up the floor space, solidifies everything even more. So option H1 are two curved side racks. And this is based off of option H, but in the offset position. Now the reason that I chose to do two curved side racks is because side racks are very beneficial to players you know, they allow you to move stuff on and off stage very easily. They take up very little space on the stage while allowing you a lot of mounting space. Plus, they add a really cool look to your setup. Now, in the offset configuration, I was able to still keep all of the symbols in the exact same setup, but I just had to move a few things around here and there. So I built the two side racks using 20-inch verticals and 46-inch curved horizontals. Now, everything is pretty much the same except for I moved my 10 and 12 inch over to the offset position, mounted out of the front leg. Now I needed to use a double tom mount in order to do so. So I'm using the SCDP, and I'm still able to mount my left main crash right out of the back clamp of the SCDP. Only other thing that I changed on the hi-hat side was that I had to slide my splash over a little bit in order to place it exactly where I needed it. Now on my floor tom side, I used to have my 12 inch rack tom right here, but since it's now on my hi-hat side in the offset position, I just replaced it with my crash cymbal, then I mounted my ride cymbal to the horizontal bar, my other crash to the horizontal bar, and I've still got my china out of the back leg. Look, I've only got seven cymbals on here, and I have a lot of room left to work with. Don't forget that you've also got the no leg option if you want to with the snare and the hi-hat stand. For the snare stand, we got the GSMTL and the GUASB, the two components to make the entire snare stand. Then we've got the SCGPRS bar, which is the stealth bent bar that'll connect it to the curved rack. Then for the hi-hat stand, we've got the EA100 that connects the no-leg stand directly to the rack using a multi-clamp. Well, that's it for this segment of Two Up, Two Down. Thanks for watching. We have a lot of videos in the Nothing But Options series, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Or come to our channel, where we have all our videos in the Nothing But Options playlist. Now, if you're interested in a full parts list of any setup that I did in this video, there's a PDF on our website where you can find the link down below in the description.